So in this video, we're going to be working with multiplying and dividing rational expressions. So to divide and multiply, let's start with multiplication. We're just going to start canceling out whatever we can cancel. So if you remember, when we multiply fractions, we just multiply across. So we multiply across, but we can cross simplify. So whatever we have that is the same, in this case, k minus 9, k minus 9, I can cancel it out, and then k plus 5, k plus 5, I can also cancel it out. So that means that at the end, I just have k minus 10 over k plus 8. And that's my multiplication of those two fractions. So on this one, again, I'm just going to cancel out whatever is the same, x plus 7, x plus 7. But now I also can simplify on the same fraction. So the x plus 8, I can also cancel it out. So at the end here, I just have 8x over x minus 9. And that's it. Let's see number 3. So number 3 on this case, first of all, I'm going to start by factoring out any term, right? And then I can factor out here also a 7. So I'm going to start by factoring two numbers that you multiply and give you 54, and you subtract and give you uh, 3, or n, negative 3, so it's n minus 9, n plus 6, divided by, and then I got 7, then I got x plus 6, right? Because my 7 is a common factor here, times n plus 6, n minus 9. So that means that on this case, keep in mind that I can cancel just 1 and plus 6. I cannot cancel all of them because I just have 1 on the denominator to cancel with that one. And then I can cancel out the n minus 9. So at the end, this equals to n plus 6 over 7. So number four, again, I'm going to start by factoring out here. So I can factor, and this is going to be our, our r minus 10 times r plus 8. So two numbers here multiply and give you 80, and you subtract and give you 2. Then down here, again, two numbers here multiply and give you 40, and you subtract and give you 3. So it's r plus 8, r minus 5. And then I just cancel whatever is the same. So r minus 10 cancel with r minus 10. r plus 8 cancel with r plus 8. So I have r plus 4 divided by r plus minus 9. So let's see number 5. Now number 5, as you can see, I have a division. So when I divide fraction, first of all, I have 5, and I'm going to keep everything the same. You can just go cancel out there if you want, but when I divide fractions, I keep change flip. So I'm going to change this to a multiplication. I'm going to keep the same fraction the same. Change to multiplication and flip my second fraction. So 2x plus 7 divided by 7x squared. Now I can start canceling out. So the 2x plus 7 cancel out. The 5 cancel out. The 7 cancel out here. And then on the x, I get 1x here, and I have 2x, so x squared here. So that means that I can cancel out this one with 1 down here. So at the end, I have, because everything on the numerator cancel out, that's going to become a 1 divided by x. Okay, so again, I'm going to keep the, the first one the same. If you want to start simplifying up there, you can simplify. I'm going to change the multiplication, flip my second fraction. Now I can start by simplifying n plus 2. I can simplify here the 14 and the 16 by 2. So this is going to become a 7. This is going to become an 8. And now this seven, the, the 7 can cancel out with that one. So that means that at the end, I got n minus 5 divided by 8. n, 8n, right? Don't forget that n here, 8n. Okay, let's see the next one. Get, we're going to start by that's x plus 9. In this case, I want to do the same um, two-step on once, right? I can factor out this one, right? Two numbers, you multiply and give you 20, and you subtract and give you negative 1, or x minus 5 x plus 4 times, again, I'm going to keep the same fraction. I'm going to flip the other one. So I can factor out that one too. So two numbers here, you multiply and give you 36, and you subtract and give you negative 5. They are 
x minus 9, x minus 9 times x plus 4 divided by x minus 9. Again, I'm flipping that at the same time and I'm, I'm factoring it. Now I can start canceling out. So I can cancel the x plus minus 9. I can cancel the x plus 4. So at the end, right here, I get that this equals to x plus 9 divided by x minus 5. Okay, so this list, that's when I'm going to have 4x, x minus 2. I'm going to change, and I'm going to flip. So I got 3x squared minus 6x divided by 3x squared plus 3x. I'm going to start by factoring out. So 4x over x minus 2 times my common factor here is 3x. So I got 3x. Then I have x minus 2. Then my common factor on the denominator here is 3x. So I got 3x, and then I have x plus 1. And now I just can cancel the x minus 2. I can cancel the 3x. And now this is just equal to 4x over x plus 1. And that's it for this lesson. May the 4th be with you.